up, no, Deutsch. Trying to say, get out of my house. Dagger throws it up, blocked by Deutsch. No, no whistle blown. I didn't call anything. Deutsch gets the rebound, and Deutsch going to work down low, misses the four footer, and awkwardly falls and grabs the ball before he hits the ground. Deutsch driving to the left, throws up the layup, in and out, rebound, Jason Dagger. Dagger, no dribbling ability, but he's going to scoop and dribble still. Dagger from way downtown, no good, rebound. David Deutsch. Deutsch. Dribbling with the left hand. Now to the right. Dager in his hops. Deutsch. Ripped away from Dager out of bounds to David Deutsch. Deutsch from way downtown. Bang. David Deutsch shows two fingers and it is now 6 0. David Deutsch. Jason Dager's going to have to do something miraculous to come back from this deficit. Dager. Playing some tougher D right there, causes the miss and Dager with the rebound. There you go. Dager shot no good. Rebound back to Dager. Inside, throws it up. Tipped up. Blows a run. No good. Nothing falling for Jason Dager. Dager picks up his dribble and luckily gets it back as Dorch knocks the ball away. Dager spots up and hits the 14 footer. And Jason Dager is on the scoreboard now, folks. Down by five, and that might be the lift that this kid needs. Dager drives in. Deutsch puts up the jumper. Good defense by JD right there. Air ball. And out of bounds to Jason Dager. I feel bad what I said about Dager. Especially now that he's getting his ass kicked. JD's been training pretty hard for this game. He's been talking about doing sprints, practicing his patented spin move. But right there, the spin move goes for nothing. JD drives in and Deutsch goes, not in my house. Deutsch backs him in, drives and scores, and JD is not happy at all. Slams the ball to the ground. And the frustration, he's looking at the official, looking for a call. And uh, I think he just realizes he just got beat on that last play. I'm going to call T's. Brian Magnus making sure everybody knows who's the boss right now. He's trying to quiet these two down. Doesn't want to give out a technical. Chase and Dager, no defense at all. But Deutsch not making him pay, misses the open jumper. This game is becoming quickly very sloppy. There's a lot of walking going on on the court. Dager from 18. Off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound, David Deutsch. Deutsch with the left hand. He's going to back him in. We've seen this four times. It's worked four times. It will not work there. Dager with the good defense forces the air ball and he grabs the board. Dager dribbling with the right hand. He's going to go back to the top of the key. So guess what? He can drive right because he has no left hand. Dager, 18 footer off glass. Pretty as a picture right there. Tim Duncan likes to use glass and so does Jason Dager. They call him the captain of the fundamentals, and you see why right there. Dager steps back, jumper, rims in and out. Rebound on Jason Dager. Dager's going to fire another one, and Deutsch grabs the rebound. David Deutsch showing no respect for Jason Dager's jump shot. Just consistently giving him that opportunity, and Dager not making him pay. Deutsch now using the size advantage. Backs him in, throws it off glass, no good, and no hustle either. Dager grabs the rebound. Dager from way downtown. Dager, easy layup, not easy for him. Out of bounds off Dager. Ball's got to go to David Deutsch. Assistant coach Brian Collins trying to give a little advice to David Deutsch. Jason Dager slowly creeping his way back into the game. Ryan Magnus will have none of that. No coaching during the game, he says. Deutsch from way downtown, no good. And nobody wants the basketball. JD throws his arms up in the air and realizes it's off of David Deutsch. Both of these guys looked gas right now. And it looks like the pressure of playing in front of 40 of your co-workers is just too much for Jason Dager. Dager doing some kind of move that we have yet to see with the ball over his head. Backs in Deutsch. Deutsch not really afraid at all. Dager backs out, realizes he has no advantage in the paint whatsoever. He's going to try to go again. And... 
That's maybe the most uncoordinated shot I've ever seen. There, there's no other way to put that, folks. When you throw up a right-handed hook like that and you airball it, that's about as bad as it gets. A lot of confusion on the floor right now when Ryan Mack just grabs the ball and will award it to Jason Dager. Jumper off glass, and that's all it hit. Wow, was that nasty. Oh, the run and scoop jumper by David Deutsch. And that's going to be our play of the game. Right here, David Deutsch drives right, throws it up with the left, hits it in off the glass. And David Deutsch is trying to put away his inferior competition. Now from three range. No good off the side of the rim. Rebound, Jason Dager. Dager's going to drive spot up and miss it off the rim. Rebound, Deutsch. Deutsch, 18-footer, no good, and Jason showing no athleticism at all. Jason's going to drive. Deutsch gives no effort at all, and Jason scores hard with the right hand. You can see the confidence growing. You can see the crowd reacting. Jason with a smile on his face thinks that he's got a chance. The confidence in the right-hand dribble. Always with the right-hand dribble. Eight-footer, no good. Rebound, Jason. Walked away by Deutsch. Jason goes inside again. Stolen away by David Deutsch. So bad. Deutsch. Backing in JD. Backing him in. Backing him in. Look at the hack, Kashak. He tries to hack him. Doesn't work. JD not happy with his defense right there as Deutsch goes inside and scores again. Deutsch with the left hand dribble. JD, tenacious defense, still away. Jason Deager with the defensive play of the game to this point. And then once again shows why his offense can't match his defense. Missing the first one, but he'll bank in that one from the free throw line. Dager. We've seen that hook shot again and once again, the worst shot I've seen in years. Jason, who taught you that? Who possibly taught you how to shoot a hook shot? That's an unheard of shot. Never seen it before. What is that called, dude? That's a, uh, Pray for rain and shit. What the fuck are you doing? That's what you call it. Okay. Obviously he didn't teach him that, but he did teach David Deutsch how to bang on the block, and Deutsch gonna try to put this game away. Turn around, good. Count the foul with the bucket, and that's your ball game, folks. David Deutsch is gonna end it right there, winning 10 to four. Ryan Magnus tried to say no bask, but you know what David Deutsch said? He goes, you haven't made a call all game. You're not gonna start right now. Ball game over, the fans are gonna go home disappointed. Where, where, was, where was the intensity? Whoa. Defensively, it looked like you were just giving him layups early on. Where was, where was the intensity early on? Because you got you got behind big early, then you kind of came back made in the game, but he still held on. See, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. Just, yeah, honestly, I mean, I knew that was going to happen because he can't handle the ball. It's not fair to have him out there. I mean, the only thing was like if I wanted to play defense or not. That was the only challenge because I had to catch my breath. And like I could have just gotten the ball from him every time if I felt like it, but. I figured we're gonna make it a match at least. From Secaucus, I'm Andrew Rosen. Your final on one on one Wednesday, number two. David Deutsch, 10. Jason Dager, 4. Tune in next week for your matchup. Ryan Magnus and myself, Andrew Rosen. I don't wanna go back to work. I'm just gonna go back to work now. I've been hanging out outside, I'm chilling, I got a full stomach full of food. Sort of worst basketball ever, ever played.